Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Triple P where we explore people, places and palettes. Today I'm in the turquoise coast of Turkey, Antalya, and I'm going to show you 10 things that you can't miss out on. Alright, so once you're up in the morning, the first thing you want to do is start off your day with a traditional Turkish breakfast spread. And there is no better place than Chai Tea's Boutique Cafe. An adorable place just off the marina with the most stunning interiors, lovely staff and a fantastic ambience. The breakfast includes eggs, different types of cheeses, a variety of jams and honeys, olives, Turkish tea, charcuterie and even warm bread. You can see that a lot of love has gone into this place. I wholeheartedly agree with the excellent ratings online and definitely recommend you a visit. Just a few steps away is the famous Antalya Marina, also known as the Roman Harbour. It was once the main port and a major economic hub between the 2nd and mid 20th century, which brought trade and prosperity to the region. Jump onto one of the pirate boats to take a cruise along Antalya's coastline, or just stroll amongst the lovely cafes and restaurants to soak in the vibe. If you haven't had a chance to eat ice cream in Turkey by the way, this is an experience you can't miss out on. It's called dondurma, which is sweet, creamy, stretchy, and chewy, as they use a starchy root of wild orchids called salep. Check this out. Yes. Oh! Yes, 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 <laughs> oh wow! Oh <Okay>. wow! <laughs> it's so cool. elevator which was opened in Kalechi in 2014 and its aim was to facilitate access for all visitors especially those with special needs which is quite a nice idea you can take it up from the port to the main street level right next to the Tofane Park which is an excellent place to enjoy the views of the Gulf of Antalya that Turkey is extremely famous for is the hammam, the Ottoman variation of the steam bath, which is a time-held tradition of relaxation, rejuvenation, and self-care. And what better place to do this than the antique spa hammam? It is a 700-year-old Turkish bath which makes it one of the oldest in all of Turkey. You have many different packages to choose from as well as interesting add-ons such as a coffee scrub or even a hot stone massage. Few tips, reserve via WhatsApp beforehand as it can get busy, let them know if you have a preference of a male or female masseuse and bring a swimsuit to wear underneath if this is more comfortable for you. Once you're nice and refreshed, you might think about jumping onto one of those cute red trams to the Konyalti beach, which is one of the most famous beaches in the area. 
It spans 13 kilometers, is a pebble beach with a backdrop of the Taurus Mountains, has beautiful clear turquoise waters to enjoy. No wonder it has blue flag status. I had the blue butterfly and mango infused tea at Shakespeare Coffee and Bistro and just simply enjoyed watching the locals around me, playing sports, having picnics and enjoying the fantastic 27 degree Celsius weather. Shopping is an integral part of any trip. Doesn't everyone want to bring something home to remember their adventures by? For some, strolling through the shops is a peaceful therapy session, while for others, it's an exhilarating adrenaline rush as they discover unique finds and haggle for the best price. While there are weekly markets held in almost every neighborhood in Antalya, the Old Bazaar is a must visit. I ended up speaking to this lovely elderly shop owner who is originally from the northern part of Turkey and he spoke excellent German as well as English. He was really sweet and invited me to have some fragrant tea and Turkish sweets as well. shopping, you'll most probably be hungry and craving for something local, authentic and yummy. Where better than Jan Jan Pide, a local favorite where you can try the famous baked Turkish flatbread that comes stuffed with a variety of toppings, including cheese, sausages, spiced meat or even spinach. It's very similar to pizza and is served with a green pepper on the side. Other dishes you should definitely try during your trip include börek, piyaz, adana kebab, lamajun, gözleme, baklava, ayran, and the list goes on. If you're headed to Antalya during the summer months, it can get quite hot under the sweltering sun. So it's always a nice idea to go and find some shade in the parks. The city has bigger ones such as Kara Aliolu Park which sits on the cliffs and is home to 54 different bird species as well as smaller options like for example Kachili Park which is quite cozy with a beautiful observation deck, fountain and wooden goat sculptures. There was a man who pleaded with me to get my fortune read by his bunny rabbits. So I thought, hey, if it will help him, why not? What is your name? Surya. 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 One, two, three. Surya Chakarasa. Surya. Surya. Don't forget also to stop by Hadrian's Gate. I would say the most emblematic and historic monument that everyone who visits the city cannot miss. It was built in 130 AD to commemorate the visit of Emperor Hadrian to Antalya, as Antalya was known back then, and was incorporated in the walls surrounding the city, acting as the major gateway into the Kalechi district. Last but not least, if you're staying a few extra days in the city and are interested in a day trip that includes shopping, riding roller coasters, enjoying a gondola ride Venice style, water fountain shows, delicious ice cream and so much more, then head to Land of Legends. It's the most popular theme park in the whole Antalya region and attracts close to 2 million people each year from all around the world. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more travel inspiration coming up.